Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about solving systems of non-linear equations. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we start solving systems of non-linear equations, let us try to define first kung ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng isang system of non-linear equations and let's have examples of it. First, let's have the definition. A system of non-linear equations consists of two or more, again, two or more equations with at least one equation that is not linear. So, from your junior high school mathematics, you already encountered how to solve systems of linear equations. When you say linear equations, uh, these are equations in which the degree of the given equation is 1, or in other words, the highest exponent of the variable is 1. So we have the uh, elimination method, we have the substitution method, and we also have the graphical method to solve those systems of linear equations. And right now, ang target naman natin ngayon is all about solving non-linear equations. Kaya sabi dito guys, pag sinabi natin systems of non-linear equations, it is composed of two or more equations and then para masabi natin siyang system of, systems of non-linear equations, dapat daw meron at least one na equation that is not linear. So I have here two given systems of equation, systems of non-linear equations na pasok na pasok sa ating definition. First, we have two equations. And second, as you can see, in the first example, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. And the other equation that uh, composes the system, we have 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. As you can see, this one is a linear equation and the other is non-linear equation. So why? Because this one is a quadratic equation. The degree of this equation is 2. That's why uh, this one is a system of non-linear equations. Same with um, the second system. We have x squared plus y is equal to 2. And then we have y is equal to negative x plus 2 in which this one is non-linear. That's why Lahat ng meron tayong examples dito ay examples ng systems of non-linear equations. And then, I hope na nakuha niyo yung definition natin at yung examples natin. Pero pag nag-browse kayo sa, sa internet and evils, even sa inyong mga reference books, um, ganito rin yung mga kalalabasan ng mga examples nila at mga yung definition nila. Now, let's try solving a system of non-linear equations. Actually, we will solve these two examples and let's have the second one. So the system of nonlinear equations, we are given x squared plus y squared is equal to 2. And then we have y is equal to negative x plus 2. I'll be using substitution method. I will use substitution method for these examples. Now, sir, how do we use substitution method? First, sa akin eh, uh, in my personal way on how to do it, I will start with the linear one. Kasi mas madali siyang isolve at madaling i-isolate yung isang variable doon. Ang target sa natin dito guys, if we have a linear equation, is to solve for a specific variable, even hindi pa, yung, hindi pa exact yung value niya or hindi pa final yung value niya, ang kailangan na natin is to isolate the variable of that equation or in other words we will solve for x or we will solve for y now in this case bakit kayo nuna sa example number 2 kasi yung ating uh, linear equation is already um, ready for the substitution method as you can see we have y is equal to negative x plus 2 in which ito na siya isolated na yung ating y variable so we can have here y is equal to negative x plus 2. So what is the next step after uh, solving for a specific value of a variable? Your next step, oh, by the way guys, this is your equation number 1. 
And this is your equation number 2. Para magkaroon tayo ng label. So, I will use equation number 2. And yung pagkagamit ako nito is that I will substitute equation number 2 to equation number 1. We will replace, again, we will replace the variable y here in equation number 1 using this value. Because, sabi ni ba, y is equal to negative x plus 2. Again, y is equal to negative x plus, negative x plus 2. Ibig sabihin yun, guys, if y is equal to negative x plus 2, we can replace y using this value. And as you can see, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 2. Meron tayo itong y, that's why we can replace this variable y using this expression, negative x plus 2. So what we will do is that I will copy this one because x na yan, x squared plus, and we will plug in negative x plus 2 here to replace the variable y, and that will become negative x plus 2 squared. Okay? And then, is equal to 2. What do we need to do is to expand this. Your negative x plus 2 mo, you need to expand it, and that is the same as negative x plus 2 times negative x plus 2. And you can use the FOIL method. Oh, right, let's try to use the FOIL method. Negative times negative x is x squared. Negative x times 2 is negative 2x. And this one is 2 times negative x is negative or minus 2x. And then 2 times 2 is equal to positive 4. So simplifying this, the expanded form of negative x plus 2 squared is simply x squared minus 4x plus 4. So we can replace this negative x plus 2 squared by this one. Copy x squared plus we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 2. Okay? And then I will erase this. So we can simplify this. As you can see, we can combine x squared plus x squared. And that is 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. Sir, bakit po naging plus 2? I will transpose 2 to the other side and it will become 4 minus 2. That's why 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. And then equal to 0. As you can see, guys, we have now a quadratic equation in which, as you can see, we can factor out 2. We will solve for the quadratic equation and the factored form of this is 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. And we can still factor out this x squared minus 2x plus 1 into these factors. We have 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. And as you can see, guys, parehas ng sila. When you solve these factors, hindi pa dito ah, 2 is equal to 0. It will become x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, solving for the value of x, x minus 1 is equal to 0. And solving for the value of x, all you need to do is transpose this one to the other side, and it will become x is equal to 1. This is the value of x. 4. This equation. Now, we're not yet done. Kasi ang target natin dito, guys, is to find the value of x and y that will satisfy the given system. So, since we're done solving for the value of x, we will now try to solve for the value of y. And you can use equation number 1 or equation number 2. But in my case, I'll be using equation number 2 kasi isolated na si y. So we will use um, the second equation to solve for y. Solve for y. Using this, y is equal to negative x plus 2 because your x is equal to 1. Substituting, it, uh, substituting the value of x, you have y is equal to negative 1 plus 2 and then your y is equal to 1. 
So as you can see guys, ito na siya. We have here the value of y is equal to 1. Now, for us to verify whether our answer is correct, we need to do the checking. We need to do the checking. For the checking guys, you need to substitute the value of x and y in each equations para masatisfy natin yung system. Hindi pwede dito lang. Hindi pwede dito lang. So let's try. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to 2 and the value of your x is equal to 2y and your y is equal to 1 that is 1 squared plus 1 squared is equal to 2. And we know when you simplify this, you want for that is equal to 1. You want for that is equal to 1 and that is 2. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So 2 is equal to 2. So we are done with the first equation. Okay, we are done with the first equation. Let's move on with the second equation. Your y is equal to negative x plus 2. Okay, guys? Now, we will replace the value of each variable to the given equation. This is 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 1. Sorry, plus 2. And we will simplify this. 1 is equal to this is 1. And as you can see, both sides of the equation are equal. Therefore, the solution is this. The solution is this. We have 1, 1. In which, pag translate natin yan, the value of x here is 1 and the value of y here is equal to 1. I hope na nakuha niyo yung first example natin on how to solve uh, systems of nonlinear equation. In the next part of our video, we will be solving the first equation given here sa ating systems of nonlinear equation. Now let us continue our discussion in solving systems of nonlinear equation. The second example that we have here is that we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 25, 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. So what we will do here is to choose an equation. By the way guys, this is your equation number 1 and this is your equation number 2. First thing you need to do is, uh, for me, uh, I will choose the first equation to solve for a temporary value of a variable like x or y. So what I will do, I will use this one. We have 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. In which, as you can see guys, we will try to isolate the variable x or the variable y. So, ano ba mas maganda? Okay, I will choose the variable y to solve for this. And first thing I need to do is to transpose this term to the other side. And our new equation is 4y is equal to negative 3x. And to solve for y, all I need to do is to divide this by 4 and cancel, cancel. You have your variable y be equal to negative 3x over 4. This is, the, this is the temporary value of y in which we will use this to solve the variable x using equation number 1. Okay, so I will put here solve for x using equation number 1. Since meron tayong y dito, we can plug in your y is equal to negative 3x plus over 4. In equation number 1, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. So we will replace this variable y. It will become x squared plus here we have negative 3x over 4 squared is equal to 25. Okay? Now, what is the next step, sir? Our next step is to simplify this part. It will become x squared plus... 9 x squared over 16 is equal to 25. Okay? And as you can see, guys, we can multiply the whole equation by 16. Okay? To eliminate this denominator. So this is multiplied by 16, and this is 16. This will become 16 x squared plus 9 x squared 
When you multiply this, we, we just need to eliminate the denominator. And for this one, we need to do what we need to do is to multiply 25 by 16. So this is equal to 400. And we need to combine this. 16x squared plus 9x squared is 25x squared is equal to 400. And gawin natin dito guys, we need to solve for the value of x. We need to divide this by 25. Divide this by 25. You have x squared is equal to 16. Okay? And then, by extracting the square roots, extracting the square roots, get the square root of this, get the square root of this, you have x is equal to the positive negative 4. Guys, dito naman, may iba to ng konti compared sa example number 1. In our example number 1, anong nangyari doon, uh, we only have one value of x. That's why meron din tayo nakuha isang value ng y. Dito kasi, uh, dalawang value ng x natin, one is positive 4 and the other is negative 4. So what we will do, is we will solve for y. Solve for y. Pero dalawang nabili natin. First, your x is equal to 4 and the other is x is equal to negative 4. Using uh, equation number 1 or equation number 2. But in our case, gagamitin natin si equation number 2. Okay? You have 3x plus 4y is equal to 0 and this one is 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. We will plug in the value of x to this equation. It will become 3 times 4 plus 4y is equal to 0. So we can simplify this. This will become 12 plus 4y is equal to 0. And to solve for y, we need to eliminate 12 to the other side. Transpose po lang siya. It will become 4y is equal to negative 12. Okay? And then, divide both sides by 4, by 4, cancel, cancel, your y is equal to negative 3. So, ano pang ibig sabihin ito? Ang ibig sabihin ito, uh, if you have the value of x, which is 4, the value of y is negative 3. Or in other words, if your input is 4, your output is negative 3. So, let's move on with the next part. Ito naman, you have 3 times negative 4 plus 4y is equal to 0. Pag simplify mo ito, it will give you negative 12 plus 4y is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side, it will become 4y is equal to 12. And same process, divide by 4, divide by 4, and y is equal to 3. Ito naman, if your input is negative 4 or your x is negative 4, your y is equal to 3. So, ano pa yung sabihin yan? Dito kasi, uh, if we will consolidate the value of x and y, it will give you this solution. You have 4, negative 3. And here naman, you have negative 4, comma, 3. Ibig sabihin guys, the solution set, ay ito. We have 4, comma, negative 3, and we have negative 4, comma, 3. You can check our answer uh, para ma-check nyo kung tama may nag-isabot natin. All you need to do in checking is to plug in the value of x in y here using the, the, the two equations and i-check nyo rin to kung tama to. Okay? I hope guys na natuto kayo sa video natin on how to solve systems of non-linear equations. If you have any question about this topic, feel free to comment down below. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!